my friends at Blackgates Engineering have acquired Southworth engines. So you may be thinking, what are Southworth engines? There are a range of engines that were originally designed by a man called Peter Southworth, who sadly is no longer with us. But his legacy of these excellent engines and pumps lives on. The first pump to look at is the horizontal duplex pump. These are available in two sizes and this is the larger one. It sounds like a locomotive. It's just good, it? yeah. Very even value then. This engine was built by a very good friend of mine by the name of Roger Kroll. This is the smallest vertical water pump in the range and this is only 3.1 inches tall. My friend Roger built one of these but I never took a video of it, I don't know why. From the sublime to the ridiculous, this is the largest in the range of the vertical pumps. These 12 inch pumps are often used to pump water into full size steam boilers, such as you would find in a steam river launch. Most of these pumps are double acting and as you can see this is really moving a lot of water. The piston and valve mechanism is really good to watch, it's hypnotic. To make pumps like this and make them run like this particular one, your engineering standard really does need to be good. I bought this one via eBay and it was fine, it was actually a factory built engine. It needed a little bit of attention but then eventually once I'd given it the attention it deserved it ran well. You need to look on the Southworth Engines website. Blackgates Engineering can supply the castings and parts for the entire Southworth range. Here are some photographs of a very beautiful small engine which was built from the Southworth Engines castings. It's a little bit more refined than some other similar engines of its type. But don't forget these are not ready made, these are castings that you machine yourself. Over the last few years I've owned quite a few Southwood pumps and this one was built by a friend of mine, the late Bernard Walker. Bernard was an excellent model engineer and he lived into his mid 80s and he was still engineering almost to the end. Here's another engine, it's a single cylinder version of the one that you've just seen. This one would be suitable I would think for a beginner because there's not that much to make. The next engine on the other hand is definitely for an experienced engineer. This is a twin cylinder engine but it's a tandem compound. The cylinder at the left hand side is the low pressure cylinder and the cylinder in the middle is the high pressure cylinder. Not too difficult to make but not for the beginner. This, on the other hand, is a work of art. This is the Corliss engine. It uses Corliss valve gear, which is what you find in normal mill engines. It's not that complicated when you break it down, but to look at to start off with, it's very complicated. And relative to the slide valve versions of Stevenson's link valve gear found on many model engines, this one is far more difficult to make. Time to have a look, I think, at another water pump. This is a very popular 6 inch Southworth pump and you can see the size of it, the engine in front of it is a Stuart double 10 so it's a bit overscale for this installation but it works in practice to pump water into the boiler in a radio controlled steamboat. This pump was in a boat that I built and it's featured in my video series How to Build a Model Steam Launch which I currently sell as a 3 DVD set and the entire series is also available in high definition for my Patreon supporters to watch. I'm really pleased that my friends at Blackgates Engineering have acquired Southworth engines and I may even build one in a future video series, if ever I get some spare time. And that's about it for the Southworth engines feature. If you would like more details, please visit the Southworth engines website, the address is on screen at the moment. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.